It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 11 of The Walking Dead. We're back for another trailer breakdown. This is going to be the trailer breakdown for the official trailer of the season 11B, which is the second part of three parts of the final season. To summarize this trailer, I can say it is epic and chaotic at the same time. There's a lot of things going on. There's a mysterious character who's going to be introduced and also there's a reveal that Negan has potentially found a new ally as well as some very interesting Commonwealth remixes that they're doing in the TV adaptation. Stay tuned we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, we're back for this trailer breakdown. There's a lot to cover, so I'm not gonna make this intro super long, but as always, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that, let's just dive right in. So the first shot from the trailer is actually this scene with Daryl Dixon. He's looking around the corner, he's inside a room, and it looks like he's looking out into a hallway of some sort. I'm not sure if this is Daryl inside the Reaper's compound or whether this is him inside of Commonwealth. In the voiceover, someone says, and I don't know or I can't tell who's saying this, but they say darkness is heavy. Some of us carry more than others. And obviously the scene switches to this scene of Maggie in the woods. This is obviously related to the Reaper's storyline and I think it's the aftermath of the cliffhanger from the previous episode and it's most likely when Maggie and the others were able to escape from the Reaper's compound. And then we have this scene of Aaron. He's being followed by some people. Now there is another scene that connects to this. Gabriel is also with him. I wonder if Aaron and Gabe were captured this scene with Carol, not much to say here, she's just looking around. This is also most likely related to the Reapers. And then we have this scene of RJ and Judith. Not exactly sure what this scene is related to, but I'm assuming they're at Alexandria. In the voiceover, the person continues saying, because we are strong enough to hold the weight. So to put it all together, darkness is heavy. Some of us carry more than others because we are strong enough to hold the weight. Very cool dialogue. And whoever is saying this sounds badass. I don't know who it is. It could be someone that we know or it could be someone new. But what they're saying is pretty epic. The next scene we have is this scene of Daryl. He's looking at people burning, I'm assuming bodies at Alexandria after it's been most likely attacked and more walkers have entered. In the voiceover, Daryl says doing this all wrong. Now we will see who he's talking to in a little bit, but what he's basically saying is that they've got it wrong, that they have to work together and that war and fighting is not the answer. But then we have this pretty interesting scene I think Daryl, Aaron, and Gabe are together here. I could be wrong, but they're just walking through this mess. There's a lot of vehicles being left out in the middle. I'm assuming this is right after they leave the Reaper's compound. Now, what's interesting is that Aaron wasn't with them at the end of the last episode. So it is interesting that Aaron is with them now. But then we have this shot of Daryl Dixon with a knife to a reaper's throat and we obviously see the other reapers, Leah included, looking at him. In the voiceover, Daryl says, we survived everything for what? Goes back to what I was saying, he's just trying to get through to Leah and to get her to see that what she's doing is wrong and that they have to stop fighting. Then we have this specific shot of Maggie and Aaron scavenging the area, most likely clearing out whoever is left. I'm assuming this is also related to the Reaper storyline. I doubt this is related to Commonwealth. But then we have this scene with Carol killing some walkers. There's some other people in the background. I can't tell who they are, but this scene specifically, I think, is at Commonwealth. I'll talk more about what this could be, but in short, I think they're just having all of the people that go to Commonwealth from Alexandria go through a similar test that Princess Eugene Yumiko and Ezekiel went through when they first 
got to Commonwealth, which is kill walkers, clear out an area, and show your worth. Then we have this shot of Leah looking at Daryl, and then this shot of Daryl looking back at Leah, most likely. And then we have this pretty awesome shot of Maggie and Herschel Jr. Maggie's obviously looking at someone, obviously Negan. She's giving him a death stare, which is interesting. This is also the thumbnail that they used for the trailer, which is interesting. But in the voiceover, we have a speech from Negan. He says, well, see when it comes to me. And then he'll finish that sentence in a little bit. But then we have Negan talking to a new survivor. Not sure where they are and what this is all about, but I think... Negan is just trying to find a new ally for himself and maybe this woman whoever this is is the person that can side with Negan on things when it comes to the Negan and Maggie situation which is interesting Negan continues to say it's just a matter of time before you make the same call and I think he's talking to Maggie here I think he's saying it's just gonna be a matter of time before you do exactly what I did kill if it's necessary and in this case, Negan is just saying, it's going to get to a point where you're going to have to kill me if you want me out of your way. Something to that effect. I could be wrong. But obviously we see injuries on Negan's face, which is most likely the result of him fighting Reapers during the battle. The next shot we have is this one of Maggie looking up at someone, most likely Negan. Maggie has a bloody nose. Did she get into a scuffle with Negan, that's possible. It could be something like that, which is very, very interesting. Then we have this shot of Daryl. He yells Maggie and then no, they're obviously at the Reaper's compound at this point. They want you to think that what Maggie is doing here, which is what Daryl is reacting to, is Maggie shooting and killing Negan because they had the Negan scene right before, but I think that they're just doing that to throw you off. I think Maggie here is actually shooting Leah. Might be a stretch, might be a huge prediction that may turn out to be false, but I'm making a prediction that Maggie shoots and kills Leah. And that's why Daryl was telling her not to do it and yelling for her to stop. This definitely matches my prediction even before the trailer came out. For those of you who follow the channel, you know I did a video on this and I made this prediction. So if this is in fact true and I'm right, then I called it even before the trailer. The next shot we have is this shot of Gracie and Judith in the basement that they were in. In the last episode, they were obviously stuck. It was getting flooded and they couldn't get out. Then we have this shot of Judith trying to walk up. This was part of a teaser I think that they released. She comes across a walker right around the corner here. And then we have this shot, which is very interesting. A new character. I thought it was Connie at first, but it's definitely not Connie. Who is this? I have no idea, but I'm intrigued. This person reminds me a lot of a character from The Last of Us Part 2. This scene itself gives me a lot of Last of Us Part 2 vibes, which is very, very interesting to say the least. But I'm intrigued to see who this is, what part she's gonna play and what's gonna happen with her. The next shot we have is someone locking some sort of a cell. This is probably at Commonwealth. And then we have Eugene inside of a cell. Behind him, I think that's Magna or Yumiko. I could be wrong, but Eugene was obviously arrested and put in a jail cell in part one. So that's nothing new. There's something else that's gonna be coming up that's definitely new, which connects to what I said earlier about the remix of the Commonwealth storyline. Even this is kind of like a remix, but the other thing is definitely a remix, which we'll talk about. And then we have this shot of Carol walking down to some place. I'm assuming this is related to the Commonwealth story. And then we have this shot of Gabriel following some other people in a hallway. Now, if you remember, there was that shot earlier with Aaron. I'll go back to it quick so you can see this one. I think this is connected. So I think this reveals or confirms that Gabe and Aaron get captured, which is very interesting. The next shot we have is actually Maggie running away from someone. This was also a part of a teaser that they released. She's actually running away from some Reapers. 
And then we have this shot of Judith killing this walker. Gracie is right there as well. This is obviously part of that scene with them being stuck in the basement. And then we have this shot, which is the walker that we just saw. And then we have Commonwealth soldiers approaching the gates of Alexandria. Awesome scene here. Daryl says everyone get ready and everyone has their weapons pointed at the Commonwealth soldiers. This is straight off the comic book pages and it's just great that we're seeing it unfold in the TV adaptation. So Commonwealth soldiers find out where Alexandria is and they come knocking. It's going to be interesting to see what happens next, whether they follow the comics or not. Most likely they will, but they could remix things slightly. But it's also going to be interesting to see how they found out where it is. Did Eugene spill the beans or did something else happen? I think we saw Eugene give him some information. And then we have the continuation of that. Daryl, Jerry and Maggie ready to shoot the Commonwealth soldiers. This is an awesome shot right here and they just all look badass. The next shot we have is this shot of Carol with some cookies at Commonwealth. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't call this. I mean, it's obvious. We should have seen it coming. There is a bakery at Commonwealth. We know Carol being the cookie girl. So we should have saw this coming, but I personally didn't. I was surprised to see it, but it's an awesome scene. I love it. And then we have this shot of Eugene sitting at a table at Commonwealth. But in the voiceover, we have Lance Hornsby saying, it is my honor tonight to introduce someone who needs no introduction. And then we have this shot of Daryl Dixon at Commonwealth. So as you can see, a lot of the characters that were not at Commonwealth when we last saw them are at Commonwealth. So a good chunk of the survivors do come to Commonwealth. The big question is what's going to happen to Alexandria, whether it's still standing or whether it fell. But then the next scene is something related to the Reapers stuff. We have at the Reapers compound, Daryl Dixon right here, and I think Maggie right here, but I could be wrong. And then the next shot we have is inside the Commonwealth train station. And then this shot of Princess and Eugene sneaking out or spying on someone. And then we have this scene which I absolutely loved. We have someone pouring wine, like a waitress, and it's none other than Magna. That's pretty awesome. I mean, what we know from the Commonwealth based on the comics is people get the same role as they had before the fall of society. For example, if you were a lawyer, you become a lawyer at Commonwealth, just like Yumiko. If you were a bartender, or something to that effect before the fall of society, you can become a waitress, just like Magna. Because if I remember right, Magna was a bartender before the fall of society. So this was pretty cool. And then we have this shot of Lance Hornsby walking Pamela Milton up to give a speech. This is obviously a gathering at the Commonwealth and they're just listening to their leader, governor of Commonwealth, Pamela Milton. And that's exactly how Lance Hornsby introduces her. For non-comic readers, I'm not going to say much about who she is, but for comic readers, it looks like they're following the exact same story from the comics. We do also see the real Stephanie here. And also we have Pamela Milton's son, Sebastian, sitting in the corner. And then we have this shot of a very interesting scene. We have princess in the background with a princess outfit. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Not sure what to make of this, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I mean, they're all dressed as if they're billionaires. So maybe it's not that unrealistic for princess to be doing this. She already has that side to her that likes things like this. So maybe she just bought into it way too quickly. But then we have obviously the real Stephanie and then a portrait of someone. And in the voiceover, Pamela Milton says, thanks to my father's sacrifices, we're all here. So I'm assuming that's a picture of Pamela Milton's father. And then we have this shot of Commonwealth soldiers riding towards Alexandria, or maybe this is everyone on their way back to the Commonwealth. And then we have this shot of Carol and others in front fishing. And then we have this shot of Commonwealth inside of Alexandria. So they roll in and they want to see what they have in store and what they can offer. And then we have this shot of Sebastian 
He doesn't look happy, he looks pissed, but I think this is related to the scene with Carol. I think he's looking at Carol, which actually gets me thinking, what if they remix the Rick comic story and give it to Carol? I could be wrong. I never really thought of Sebastian and Carol going head to head instead. But looking at the way that it's shown here, that is definitely something that they could do. But in the voiceover, Pamela Milton says brick by brick and block by block. Just talking about how they set up the Commonwealth brick by brick, block by block, self-explanatory. We have this shot of Lydia Elijah and others killing walkers. I think this is connected to what I said earlier. They're just going through a test that the Commonwealth have set out for them to be able to be approved to join the Commonwealth or something to that effect. Then we have this shot of Negan killing someone, most likely a Reaper. And then we have this awesome shot of Commonwealth soldiers killing all of these walkers like it's no big deal and then we have this shot of some commonwealth soldiers in the background and connie and kelly looking at something and then we have this shot of ezekiel looking at yumiko's brother tommy pamela milton says in the voiceover we're putting the world back together again part of her speech not much to say there and then we have this shot of maggie herschel jr elijah and daryl inside of alexandria looking at something most likely commonwealth soldiers just walking around. I'm sure that they're all getting PTSD from when the saviors showed up and they're probably not too happy about the situation at hand. And then we have this final shot of the Pamela Milton speech. She says the way it was. So we want to return everything to go back to the way it was, which matches the Commonwealth story. The Commonwealth itself is a representation of the society and civilization as it was before the fall of society. And then we have this pretty interesting shot of tents and stuff being set out. I'm assuming this is in front of Alexandria, but I could be wrong. Not sure what's happening here. There's obviously Commonwealth soldiers there, and we see Maggie, Elijah, even Lydia and others there, but it's interesting. Not sure what to make of this, but this might be them just getting prepared to move out of Alexandria. And then we have this shot of Carol at the Commonwealth. And obviously we see Father Gabriel in the background. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's just his lookalike. But I initially thought that's Gabriel. Anyway, the next shot we have is this menacing shot of Lance Hornsby sitting. He looks like a politician here. That's for sure. And it looks like he's planning something potentially evil so it's going to be interesting to see what happens there and then we have this shot of gabriel and aaron looks like they're beat up even but there's commonwealth soldiers all around them they're looking up because of this shot here i think these are connected they're actually looking at elijah and maggie maybe this is when they first get to alexandria and then we have negan with this new character who i think is his new ally i could be wrong and then we have Elijah, Marco, I think, and Lydia here. They're looking at something, not sure what, but they're at Alexandria. And then we have this walker here and Commonwealth soldiers killing walkers. And then we have this pretty awesome shot of none other than Mercer covered in all blood. Obviously, he was killing some walkers and stuff, but if you look at him, the look on his face, it looks weird. It looks like maybe he's contemplating what he's going to do next. And I think what they might be doing is a thing where they're having Mercer have to fight his conscience in terms of listen to Lance and what is ordered or do the right thing. I could be wrong about that. We have more shots of Connie and Kelly inside of Commonwealth. In the voiceover, it's actually Magna who says this place is like a city from before. We have this other shot of Eugene at the commonwealth sitting at a table then we have this shot of magna giving out drinks to yumiko yumiko's brother tommy is right there as well obviously yumiko is giving magna this look like we have to pretend like this is all cool but this is weird <laughs> and then we have this shot of magna talking to rosita she says for people who can't fit in get cast out so just saying people who don't fit into commonwealth are going to be cast out 
And then we have this shot of, I think, Lance Hornsby with Eugene and Princess in jail. He's just reading something to them. We have Princess here. And then in the voiceover, Magna says, you remember, to which we will see Rosita reply, yes, I do. I'll explain what I think that's all about when we get there. But we have this shot of Maggie and Herschel Jr. with Commonwealth soldiers surrounding them and pointing their guns at them and Maggie pointing her gun back at Commonwealth soldiers. Interesting shot. Maybe she doesn't want to give in to their demands and maybe that's how this scene comes about. And then we have this shot, like I said, with Rosita saying, yeah, I do. Now, what I think this is all about is maybe it connects to Rosita's past because she did have to go through a similar thing before. And then we have Rosita and others killing walkers with Commonwealth soldiers in the back. Again, this is part of a test that I think Commonwealth have the survivors go through to be accepted in. We have Daryl killing walkers. We have Carol killing walkers. And then we have this shot of a scene that I think is at the Reaper's camp. Maggie is killing a Reaper. But she's using Elijah's weapon, which is interesting. We have Negan fighting and killing this particular Reaper here, which is awesome. We have Daryl killing walkers. We have Deanna killing walkers. We have some more walkers. We have Eugene looking around the corner. And then he says in the voiceover, in a very hurt voice, I'm gonna let everybody know. And then we have this shot, which is extremely interesting. We have a missing sign for Stephanie, the fake Stephanie, part of the remix that I was talking about. We definitely didn't see anything like that in the comics. What's going on here? I don't know exactly what they're gonna do. I mean, something happened to Stephanie. Who did it? Was it one of our survivors? Was it an inside job to pretend that Stephanie is missing so that Eugene doesn't get to meet her again? And is that what's happening? I'm not sure, but this is extremely interesting. And then we have this shot, which is a continuation of what Eugene was saying. He says that who and what you are. So I'm gonna tell everybody who you are. I'm assuming what he's saying is, I'm gonna tell everybody what type of a monster you are. And I think he's talking to Lance Hornsby. I could be wrong about that, but it looks like he's also been tortured and everything, which is interesting. We have this shot of an awesome scene with Mercer, with his axe killing walkers, like a badass, it's pretty awesome. And then Aaron jumps in, kills a walker. I think this is in the basement of Alexandria where Gracie and Judith were stuck. He's just there to save the day. Maggie comes in here with some others, maybe related to the Commonwealth stuff. We have Daryl Dixon here. Someone is shooting at him, which is interesting. He has a rifle, which is interesting. And then we have him beating up a Commonwealth soldier here. Very interesting. Obviously, something's happened that caused conflict between the two groups. It's gonna be interesting to see what that was that caused the conflict. And then we have Rosita running away here, and then Maggie killing walkers and trying to get out here. I think this is part of the cliffhanger when they were surrounded by walkers at the end of last episode. In the voiceover, Lance Hornsby says, get ready, we're going to remake the world. And I think that's part of his speech that he's giving to the Commonwealth residents. And then we have this shot of Maggie killing a walker, Daryl fighting a reaper here, and then this awesome shot of Maggie all bloodied up and everything. And then we have this shot of Aaron falling into some kind of water. And I think this is related to the basement scene and the fact that it was flooded and everything. And then we have this shot of Aaron. We see the same school bus as before. So I think Daryl is there too. And I think they're attacked by Commonwealth soldiers. This connects to a scene that we saw earlier where Gabe, Aaron, and Daryl ran across a lot of vehicles. I'm not gonna go back to it. I hope you remember which one I'm talking about. And then we have this shot of a walker. Someone shoots the walker in the head. And then we see this right here. We see the Walking Dead logo with the words final season part two of three. And that's pretty much it. That is the end of the trailer. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. If you did, make sure to share and smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.